Hey friends, I'm Angie at Happy Acres Campground and Kevin and I are getting ready to start a brand new adventure. Here's what we're doing. We are getting a new RV or slash tiny home. And we want to take you on the adventure of touring the ones we're interested in, talking about the pros and cons and figuring out what is the best fit for us. So anytime you see us making a mistake or maybe not asking the right questions, please leave it in the comments. But before we ever even start getting into that information, I wanna tell you about what we're giving up. When we purchased the campground, it came with uh, a park model and it was very old park model. We didn't know anything about it. It was in pretty bad shape. We actually needed it initially for an office, a temporary office. The office that was here was getting a facelift and so this just sat next to it. We did a little bit of um, fix up on it. It was very small. There's basically a desk in here and uh, I'm, I'm actually sitting in it right now. But since then we've done more work, but not all the work. And here's part of the problem. We had it moved back into the campground onto a campsite because we were gonna use it. Well, the person that we hired to move it for us never unhooked any of the water or the drains or any of that stuff and just ripped it out. Um, so there's some plumbing issues. Uh, the tub shower has never worked because it really, I mean, it needs to come out and fix all the plumbing in and around it, which is no big deal. We have nice showers here, so we just use the showers at the campground. The toilet and the sinks work, and that's really all we needed because we're not living here. It's just temporary for us when we're at the campground. It still needs all that work in the bathroom. Um, I never finished painting and doing the trim in the bedroom. Um, we did refloor the whole thing, so that's nice, and with the uh, vinyl plank, but this part of it has been redone, and it's nice. It's got new windows, new siding, new roof. It's, it's a nice little park model, but it still needs a lot of work, and Kevin and I both agree that we just, we don't have the energy to put into a park model that once we're done is still going to be an old park model. So we sold it. Yes! Uh, the new owners are gonna come pick it up this winter. So we are gonna have our empty site that we need to fill with a new RV or tiny home. We generally decided we wanted a fifth wheel, um, probably about 40 feet long. All of the ones on our list are either rear kitchen or rear living. And we're not interested in a bunch of outdoor storage. We also don't need expensive fancy suspension packages because we're not going to tow it around once it gets to happy acres it's staying at happy acres uh, other things kevin is not a fan of the big swooshes and stripes and multiple colors all over the side he says it looks like motley crew going down the road so we don't want any motley crew, crew stripes if possible but the most important thing for me and for kevin is i need office space it doesn't have to be a separate office it can be a desk, but I also need storage for my office stuff. Not, our, not all RVs come with a desk, but if there's space where you can maybe remove a third couch and add a desk, that would be okay. Um, but like I said, it doesn't have to be a separate room. We do have a couple RVs on our list that, do, that are like mid bunks where they have a separate room that can be used as an office. That is our number one need is I have to have a place for um, a desk. Some other things that would be awesome, a little coat closet. I thought it was kind of silly the first time I saw one. I was like, why would you need that? But really we come in and out so often and we usually have hats and jackets and all that stuff. So it would be nice, even if it's just a couple hooks that are pushed back in the wall or something. Um, it's not a deal breaker, but it would be nice. Another thing is in the master bedroom, side tables. Some of them come with the ones that are really high, which that's okay, but we prefer that there's actually a place right next to us. Again, not a deal breaker, but it would be nice. Uh, other than that, we're kind of open. I like the light colors. Again, I like the light and airy, high ceilings, open concept. That's what we're looking for. So I have a list of all of the RVs that we've already researched YouTube and we've narrowed it down to these 14 that are real possibilities. 
Um, a couple of them are brand new models and we have no information other than the tours. We have no idea if they're available, when they're available or how much they cost. So maybe those aren't gonna work out for us. I guess I should also say that timing is an issue uh, and availability. We need something by mid-May at the latest. I'll put a list up on the screen and show you all of the RVs that we are considering at this point. And um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, hoping that I can find these RVs in the wild. We will go to a dealership if we have to, but I just like to talk to people who, you know, they use it and they, they deal with the issues and the problems that it might have, or they can say, this is super great and we just love this part of the RV. Ultimately, we're gonna end up in um, the Tampa RV show in January. And our goal is to, obviously to have seen all of the RVs uh, by the end of the show that we are interested in and make a decision. So that's, that's kind of our goal is by that time, um, we need to have a decision made and, and have this RV figured out and on the way because again, that whole timing issue, we, that's our goal. And I hope you guys would follow along. I mean, it'll be fun. I'll just throw up a video, a quick video of um, when we find these RVs, see if if it meets our what we're looking for. And if it doesn't, then, you know, maybe it'll go. But otherwise, maybe it'll raise up on the list. We really want you to be a part of it because I'm guessing most of you have already been through this process and you've already done the work and the homework to figure out what you guys wanted. And we haven't. The so we don't necessarily know the questions to ask. We need you to tell us. So thanks for following along and don't just camp. Camp happy.